I'm going to be adding a 99 overall to the worst team in every NHL game, and I'm going to see if that 99 can lead them to a Stanley Cup. And we're going all the way back, starting in NHL 2002, and the reason I'm starting in this game is up until this point, although you could create a player, you only could get them up to like an 85 overall. So an 85 overall is not going to be helping too much, but in NHL 2002, we could add 99 overalls. Now, I'm not going to be adding just one 99 overall, I'm adding three. One forward, one defenseman, and one goaltender. So let's meet our forward bubbles, our defenseman Julian, and in between the pipes, we're going to have Rick. Lafleur, if you know you know and of course all these guys are gonna be added to the atlanta thrashers as they were the lowest overall and let's get right into this also if you think the vegas golden knights are going to defeat the florida panthers in the stanley cup final then you have to subscribe and yes i am saying this as they have a 3-1 series lead so i think it's safe to say vegas is taking this also if you're part of the 75 percent people that aren't subbed to the channel subscribe right now you'll be notified of when i upload and it helps more than you can imagine when the season came to an end although atlanta's seen some improvement they're actually not looking too great finishing 14th in the entire league with a 42 36 and 4 record atlanta might not looked that great but bubble certainly is he's picking up 75 goals and 75 helpers for 115 points and julian's picking up 87 points as a defenseman holding it down nets with ricky lafleur and he's doing everything he can picking up 36 wins but he had a 414 goals against so i don't think atlanta is going to be going on any deep runs and it doesn't look like they are because they're going to be falling in seven games to the first seeded philadelphia flyers not gonna lie that's a tough look for the atlanta thrashers i added 399 overalls to your team and you finished 14th in the entire league and lost in the first round you hate to see it you really do bubbles led the atlanta thrashers in the post season with six points while Ricky LaFleur did everything he could in between the pipes picking up two wins with a 307 goals against. Moving on to NHL 2003, the Columbus Blue Jackets are going to be our worst team. But if you get some elite players like those boys from Sunnyvale, you're going to see some improvement and Columbus is finishing first in the entire league with a 56-20-5 record. Bubbles wouldn't be as dominant this season, only picking up 112 points consisting of 52 goals and 60 helpers, while Julian, he's having a better season picking up 102 points. And in between the pipes, Ricky LaFleur's numbers are going to be much better as he's posting a 254 goals against with 46 wins. And in the postseason, this trio is doing magnificent things they're making it all the way to the stanley cup final and the columbus blue jackets they're going to be defeating the montreal canadians in five games to hoist the stanley cup bubbles is going to be leading columbus in postseason scoring because he was that guy seven goals and 14 helpers for 21 points while ricky lafer for some reason is only picking up 12 wins i have no clue why the backup played in four of those games just doesn't make any sense to me i refuse to believe you're pulling ricky lafleur in any game he can allow eight goals you don't pull ricky lafleur moving on to nhl 2004 the worst team is going to be the pittsburgh penguins as they're sitting at 81 overall but with the help of Ricky Bubbles and Julian, the Pittsburgh Penguins are moving up to fourth overall in the entire league as they're finishing with a 41, 23, and 11 record. We continue to see the production from Bubbles slowly fall off as he's only picking up 55 goals and 44 helpers for 99 points this season, but to be fair, he did miss eight games this season. Ricky LaFleur, on the other hand, his numbers continue to get even better as he's picking up 33 wins this season with the 216 goals against. The Pittsburgh Penguins are heavy favorites heading into the postseason and they're going to make quick work of the Boston Bruins in the first round, but in the second, they're going to be falling to the seventh seed in New Jersey Devils. That's a tough look for this Pittsburgh team, not going to lie, but it's definitely not the the fall of those boys from Sunnyvale as Bubbles is picking up 9 goals and 11 assists for 20 points, while Ricky LaFleur is picking up 6 postseason wins with a 190 goals against. At that point, the rest of the team just has to start scoring more. Nothing else you can do. Jumping into NHL 2005, our weakest teams could be the Washington Capitals sitting at a 79 overall. Even though the Capitals had Julian, Bubbles, and Ricky, it wouldn't be enough for this team to finish at the top of the league as they're finishing with a 41, 29, and 12 record and they're finishing 11th. For the first time in this video, one of our 99s is going to be leading the team in scoring as Bubbles is finishing second with 40 goals and 68 assists for 108 points while Alexander Simmons leading the way with 111 points but one guy we can always rely on that's gonna be Ricky LaFleur 35 wins with a 272 goals against continue to keep doing your thing in net my guy however in the postseason when the games mattered a bit more and you need to step it up the Washington Capitals wouldn't be able to as they're gonna be falling in seven games to the New York Islanders and the Islanders are gonna go on to make it all the way to the Stanley Cup final as they're gonna be defeating the eighth seed of the Los Angeles Kings it was a tight series between these two teams and Bubbles did everything he could picking up 11 points but if we are gonna point the finger at one person it's gonna be Alexander Semin four points in seven games you led the team in scoring in the regular season but when the postseason came around you folded moving on to nhl 07 once again we're going to be seeing the columbus blue jackets as the lowest overall team as they're sitting at an 81 the blue jackets wouldn't be as dominant as the last time we saw them but they're still going to be a fantastic team finishing fifth in the entire league with a 49 25 and 8 record meanwhile i don't even know what's going on with the 99 overalls in this game julian's going to be finishing third in the team in scoring 78 points and that's the highest from a 99 overall something's not adding up here while ricky lafleur is doing whatever he can in net 43 wins with a 305 goals against and an 869 save percentage. Not the greatest numbers by any means, but hey, if he can lead us to a Stanley Cup, the regular season numbers don't really mean anything. So I don't know if I'm just plain stupid, but I actually couldn't find the playoff tree. I spent a good five minutes looking for it and I just couldn't find it. We're losing to the Dallas Stars in the first round, so kind of happy we can't look at it, but not nah, real talk, where was it? We're finally jumping onto the PS3 and in NHL 08, we're gonna see our worst team being the Arizona Coyotes. Oh, I'm sorry, the Phoenix Coyotes, because that really changes how poverty of a franchise this team is. Honestly, I'm incredibly surprised the 99 overalls could save 
save this team, but somehow they are, and they're finishing 7th in the entire league with a 49-29-9 record. It really shouldn't be much of a surprise that Bubbles is going to be leading the team. He's picking up 53 goals and 48 assists for 101 points this season, and Ricky Lafleur, he's going to be having a better season, picking up 39 wins with a 261 goals against and a 906 save percentage. In the postseason, Arizona would go on a bit of a run, defeating the San Jose Sharks in the first round, the Columbus Blue Jackets in the second, but in the conference finals, they're going to be falling to the Calgary Flames in a five-game series, and Calgary's going to go on to win the Stanley Cup, taking the Pittsburgh Penguins down in a six-game series. This postseason disappointment definitely wasn't the fault of any of our 99s, and Bubbles is going to be our best guy here, picking up 10 goals and 15 assists for 25 points. Moving on to our next NHL game, we're going to see the Nashville Predators being the lowest overall in NHL 09. But once you add some 99s to this team, everything's changing as they're going to be finishing first in the entire league with a 57-20-5 record. Nah, this team's built different now. It's the same old story as we're going to see Bubbles leading the way with 54 goals and 52 assists for 106 points, and coming in second not too far behind, but actually 31 points behind, so I mean that's a fair difference. That's going to be his partner in crime, Julian, 18 goals and 57 assists for 75 points. But if you thought those guys were having a great season, wait till you see what Ricky LaFleur did. He's picking up 51 wins with a 233 goals against and a 912 save percentage. By far the best season of his career, and he's ready to capitalize on that, as this team's going to go on a run all the way to the Stanley Cup Finals, and in seven games, they're coming out on top defeating the New Jersey Devils and their Stanley Cup champs. When it mattered most, of course, we're seeing Bubbles and Julian stepping up. Bubbles is picking up 30 points while Julian's picking up 25. And Ricky LaFleur, 16 to win to 245 goals against a 904 save percentage. Congrats on the Stanley Cup. Now it's time to head over to NHL 10 and win another one. And the next team this trio from Sunnyvale has to save is the Colorado Avalanches that are going to be our worst team. The Colorado Avalanche is going to be looking absolutely incredible this season, finishing fifth in the entire league with a 47, 33, and 2 record. While looking at the scoring for this team, Julian's going to be having a career season, cracking the 100 point mark for the first time in his career, and he's also leading the team 14 goals and 88 helpers for 102 points. Meanwhile, Ricky LaFleur continues to do his thing. He's picking up 45 wins this season with a 250 goals against and a 914 save percentage. However, Colorado would run into a few problems in the postseason. They're going to take care of Vancouver in the first round and then dominate Arizona in the second. But in the conference finals, they're going to run to the greatest franchise of all time, the St. Louis Blues. And St. Louis is going to continue to dominate as they're going to go on to win the Stanley Cup. Personally, I'm actually pretty surprised St. Louis hasn't won all the Stanley Cups up until this point. Although Colorado is falling in the conference finals, Bubbles would be putting up some historic numbers. 14 goals and 13 assists for 27 points, while Ricky LaFleur, his numbers, nothing I can complain about. Heading on over to NHL 11, our worst team is going to be the Edmonton Oilers, who are sitting around an 85 overall. The Edmonton Oilers are going to be returning to the good old days as they're dominating this season, finishing 7th in the entire league with a 46, 29, and 7 record. While the 99 overalls this season are going to be disappointing as Bubbles, he's going to be leading the team, but with only 81 points. How are you a 99 overall and don't even record a point a game? Doesn't even make sense to me. And Ricky LaFleur, he continues to post normal numbers while picking up 41 wins. Alright, so I guess that's happening. The Edmonton Oilers are going to go on a ridiculous run during the postseason, and they're making it all the way to the Stanley Cup Final, where they're going to be defeating the New York Islanders in five games. I'm assuming these 99 overalls went insane in the postseason. And they didn't really. Bubbles, he's averaging a point a game, 7 goals and 15 assists for 22 points, while Julian's only picking up 18 points. So unless Ricky had like a 170 goals against, I don't know how this team did that. I guess it was somewhat close to a 170. Ricky Lafleur 2.04 goals a game with a 926 save percent. Nah, seriously, how did the Edmonton Oilers just win a Stanley Cup with these three guys? I thought this would have been impossible, but here we are. And the Sunnyvale Trio does it again. Moving on over to NHL 12, our worst team's gonna be the Ottawa Senators, and this is the first time we're seeing them in this video. Ricky Bubbles and Julian were on a different type of timing this season. They're leading the Ottawa Senators to first in the entire league while posting a 59, 17, and 6 record. I know that those guys from Sunnyvale are incredible, but I didn't think they would be this good, as Bubbles is looking absolutely fantastic this season. 54 goals and 65 assists for 119 points, while Ricky LaFleur, he's gonna be posting some career highs this season. 48 wins with a 212 goals against and a 921 save percentage. And for the second year in a row, the Sunnyvale Trio can continues to do the impossible. They're leading the Ottawa Senators all the way to the Stanley Cup final, and they're going to be taking down the San Jose Sharks in five games. I think it's safe to say that Ricky, Julian, and Bubbles are three of the greatest players of all time, if not the greatest. Because if you ask me, I'm putting Bubbles number one, Ricky number two, Julian number three, and then Wayne Gretzky four. And I think that's just common knowledge at this point. Bubbles' numbers in the postseason were pretty solid as he's picking up 28 points in 20 games, but they wouldn't even compare to the numbers that Ricky LaFleur was posting. 16 wins, of course, because he's leading the team to a Stanley Cup, but he's also posting a 156 goals against and a 937 save percentage. Some absolutely ridiculous numbers. Moving on over to NHL 13, the New York Islanders are going to be your worst team and they're up next. But as we know, if you add the Sunnyvale Trio to your team, you're going to be doing incredible things and that's exactly what's happening as the Islanders are going to be finishing first in the entire league with a 58-21-3 record and Ricky and the boys, they're looking to complete the three-peat. You guys are probably going to be surprised by this, but who's going to be leading the New York Islanders in points? Well, that's none other than Bubbles as he's picking up 104 points this season. While Ricky LaFleur, the numbers continue to get even better and it doesn't even make sense at this point. 49 wins with a one 
186 goals against, this might be the best season Ricky Lafleur has had yet. But sadly, that dream of a three-peat is going to be falling short. After sweeping the Tampa Bay Lightning in the first round, the Islanders are going to have their hands full in the second, but they're going to get past the Washington Capitals in seven games. But in the conference finals, they're going to be falling to the Boston Bruins in six games. And what makes this even worse, Boston is going to go on to win the Stanley Cup, defeating the St. Louis Blues. And we all know that's just plain unrealistic. Like usual, Bubbles is going to be leading the team of postseason scoring as he's picked up 23. But Ricky Lafleur, what happened to that incredible regular season you had? A 264 goals against? You had like a 150 in the regular season. This is just plain disappointing. How could you let me down? We've officially moved on to our final game on the PS3, and that's going to be NHL 14, and the Buffalo Sabres are going to be our worst team. But when you add that Sunnyvale trio, you immediately know the team's going to be one of the best in the league, and that's exactly what's happening. The Buffalo Sabres 62, 14, and 6. Now, if this team doesn't win a Stanley Cup, that might be one of the biggest disappointments in NHL history. Granted, the Boston Bruins did just lose in the first round like a month and a half ago, and Tampa did get swept to Columbus a couple years ago, but this is before all that's happened, so this could be the biggest fold in NHL history. It's a massive surprise who's going to be leading the Buffalo Sabres in the scoring, is that's going to be Bubbles, and he's picking up 45 goals and 55 helpers for 100 points, while Ricky Elfleur, the numbers are even better this season. The fact that he topped his numbers from last season doesn't even make any sense. A 148 goals against. It's almost impossible to do better than that. But there is going to be one difference from last season, as Ricky's going to continue to post those numbers into the postseason, and the Buffalo Sabres are going to go on to win the Stanley Cup. Also, we need to talk about this because it's bugging me. The Buffalo Sabres logo here is slightly off-center. Like, the logo doesn't cleanly line up with the Stanley Cup, and that bothers me a lot. So it's safe to say I wasn't expecting this. Who's going to be leading the team in the postseason? Julian. 8 goals, 13 assists, 21 points ahead of Bubbles? Hey man, if you're going to step up and help us win a Stanley Cup, I'm definitely not going to be against it. But Ricky LaFleur. Wow. 16 wins, a 116 goals against. He posted a 962 save percentage and picked up five shutouts in the process. You gotta hand it to this guy. He's just built different. We'll never see a guy like Ricky Lafleur ever again for a number of reasons, but we won't get into those. It looks like some things are never changing. We're on the PS4 now, but the Edmonton Oilers are once again our lowest overall team. But we've already seen 100 examples of what Ricky Lafleur and the boys can do, and Edmonton's gonna be an example of that once again as they're finishing first overall with a 59, 15, and 8 record. But we haven't seen these numbers from Bubbles and a handful of years 78 goals 44 helpers 122 points julian's picking up 119 points and ricky lafleur he was the backup this season ricky lafleur 99 overall 69 240 ricky lafleur was the backup I hope Edmonton loses in the first round just because they have Ricky as the backup. I refuse to believe the Edmonton Oilers win the Stanley Cup with Ricky LaFleur as the backup. This team just went 16-2. and two. Ain't no way you won a Stanley Cup with Ricky LaFleur as your backup. Okay, so Julian put up these type of numbers, so maybe they didn't need Ricky LaFleur. 19 goals and 23 helpers for 42 points, and Bubbles picked up 33 points. But no, nah, you had to have had Ricky LaFleur in between the pipes, right? This makes a bit more sense. Ricky's going to be our Stanley Cup goaltender. 16 wins with a 138 save percentage. And Bro just also had a 952 save percentage, so we're not just going to casually forget that. This is probably the greatest postseason goalie performance we've ever seen. We're moving on to NHL 16. The Arizona Coyotes are going to be making their second appearance in the videos. Once again, they're the lowest overall team. But it's been a while since we've been in this position. Arizona's finishing second in the entire league with a 55, 22, and 5 record. I gave you three of the greatest players of all time, and you still couldn't get first in the entire league. That just shows you how bad this Arizona team was. And without Julian and Bubbles, it's safe to say this team would have been way worse. Julian's leading the team with 110 points, but between him and Bubbles, they combined for 127 goals. Take these two guys off the team, they might not even have scored 120 goals this season. Also, Ricky LaFleur's that guy, but of course we already knew that. A 185 goals gains with a 934 save percentage. He's him, what can I say? But even with Bubbles, Julian, and Ricky playing at all-time levels, they still couldn't save this Arizona Coyotes team. They're going to sweep the Minnesota Wild in the first round, but they're going to be falling to the Los Angeles Kings in six games in the second. But I'm going to keep it a thousand. I don't think I can blame the Arizona Coyotes for this loss, because Bubbles and Julian just did not play up to expectations. Yeah, Bubbles had 13 points in 10 games, but I'm still expecting more, and Julian had less than a point a game, so that's just not acceptable. The only guy that actually did play up to expectations was Ricky LaFleur. Six wins with a 198 goals against and a 932 save percentage? It's hard to post better numbers than that. We're finally seeing another Canadian team finishing at the bottom of the league as an NHL 17, the Vancouver Canucks are going to be our worst team. Things are going to be quite a bit different now that they have some 99 overalls on the team as they're going to be finishing first in the entire league with a 55-26-1 record. But I'm incredibly surprised this team's doing so well because Julian and Bubbles are going to be seeing a massive drop off this season. Julian's only picking up 85 points and same with Bubbles. These two guys combined for 127 goals last season. This year they couldn't even combine for 100. It looks like they've fallen off for real. But one guy I'm convinced is never going to fall off is Ricky LaFleur. Look at these numbers. 
numbers. There's nothing else I can say about this guy. He's the GOAT. And to build on the impressive resume that Ricky O'Flora has, why not pick up another Stanley Cup as Vancouver's going to be defeating the Washington Capitals in five games. It's good to see that Bubbles and Julian stepped up when it mattered most. Bubbles is picking up 28 points while Julian's picking up 22. But of course, the real storyline continues to be Ricky LaFleur, 16 wins with a 174 goals against and a 941 save percentage. We've officially reached NHL 18 and the Colorado Avalanche are going to be our worst team. But once we add Ricky and the boys to the team, everything's changing and they're finishing first in the entire league with a 54-20-8 record. Bubbles is going to be returning to his prime this season as he's picking up 66 goals and 40 helpers for 106 points, while Ricky Lothar continues to do his usual thing in net and this time around he's picking up 8 shutouts in the process. However, it doesn't look like the dominance from these 3 players is going to be enough because after getting past the San Jose Sharks in the first round, the Winnipeg Jets are going to be taking the Avs down in 7 games. The postseason numbers from all 3 of our 99 overalls actually weren't that impressive. Normally we have one of them carrying the way, but this time around, they were all mid. I guess it was only a matter of time before that happened. In NHL 19, we're going to see a new team appearing as the worst in the entire league, and that's going to be the Detroit Red Wings. Detroit's turning back the clock, though they're making the playoffs as they're finishing with a 59-21-2 record, first in the entire league, and that's going to be all because of Julian and Bubbles carrying the way. Julian's picking up 114 points, while Bubbles is picking up 97. And what's Ricky LaFleur doing in the net? Nothing other than posting a few career highs, 57 wins, 7 shots, a 929 save percentage, and a 198 goals a game. It's time for this trio to get this historic franchise another Stanley Cup. But that's not exactly what's going to be happening because after dominating Montreal in the first round, they're going to be falling in six games to the Tampa Bay Lightning in the second. Now you might recall what I said last season. Normally all three of these guys aren't mid at the same time. And once again, Bubbles and Julian aren't putting that great of numbers up. Ricky on the other hand is putting good numbers up though. Although he only picked up six wins, he still had a 943 save percentage and a 187 goals against. So at this point you just need to score more goals. There's nothing else he can do. We're finally in NHL 20 when we've reached the current decade, and once again, we're going to be seeing the Ottawa Senators as the worst team overall. Okay, I understand that Ricky, Bubbles, and Julian are 399s, greatest the game has ever seen, but the fact that they've been constantly turning the worst team in the entire league to the best team doesn't make sense. Like, I get, yeah, you're adding 99s to a team, and a 99 goalie means quite a lot, but constantly going from 31st or 32nd in the entire league to first? Nah. That just doesn't make sense. For the second year in a row, Julian's going to be leading the team in scoring as he's picking up 46 goals and 73 assists for 119 points, while Ricky LaFleur, he's actually taking a step back this season. Ricky, you can't be doing that to me, my guy. I need you to win us another Stanley Cup. I can't have you putting up numbers like this. For what seems like the 100th time in this video, Ricky, Julian, and Bubbles are making it to the Stanley Cup final. But something different's happening this time around as they're going to be falling in seven games to the Winnipeg Jets. This is the first time this team's lost in the Stanley Cup final, or I think it's the first time. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't, but it's just a ton of heartbreak for this team. And what makes this even worse is these boys stepped it up when it mattered most. Bubbles is picking up 35 points, Julian's got 31, and Ricky LaFleur, although the numbers weren't as good in the postseason, they're still fantastic. A 927 save percentage, a 223 goals against, one more goal and one more save, and this team's Stanley Cup champs. But I guess we got to move on. And we're moving on to a team we just saw a couple seconds ago, the Detroit Red Wings. And once again, they're the worst team in the entire league. With the addition of the Sunnyvale Trio, the Red Wings are going to do everything in their power to finish first in the entire league. But sadly, they're falling to second as they're finishing with a 54-22-6 record. The main guys are going to be leading the way for Detroit, and that's Bubbles and Julian. And in the process, Bubbles is going to be picking up 67 goals and 112 points. While Ricky Elfleur, a step back this season, although he's got 47 wins, a 913 and a 247. Ricky, what kind of numbers are these? I've seen the numbers you've put up. And it's much better than this. Step it up. Now, I'm not going to lie to you guys. This one hurts more than any other losses hurt before. In the first round to the Toronto Maple Leafs of all teams, in five games, this team couldn't be saved by anyone. Julian, six points. Bubbles, five points. Those numbers aren't great. Ricky, wow. A 902 and a 283. We've fallen off for real. You hate to see it. We're finally down to our last two games. We're going to see the Arizona Coyotes as our worst team in NHL 22. Honestly, I'm incredibly surprised that 399 overalls could save this team. We're talking about the Arizona Coyotes. Also, St. Louis finished fourth in the entire league, so shout out to my St. Louis Blues. Julian was an absolute beast this season, picking up 119 points, while Bubbles is picking up 50 goals and 60 helpers for 110 points. And Ricky LaFleur, the numbers are looking pretty solid this season. 46 wins, a 927 save percentage, had 212 goals against, but none of this regular season success means anything if you fall apart in the postseason. And that's exactly what's happening, but this time around, can you really blame them? They're falling to the St. Louis Blues lose. All right, hold on for a second. Okay, so I guess the Central Division is the greatest division of all time. Colorado's first, Arizona's second, St. Louis is fourth, and the Chicago Blackhawks are sixth. Also, Philly finished fifth, so I guess this makes no sense. This is literally the weirdest standings I've ever seen. So here we are in NHL 23, the current game, the worst team in the entire league, by a few metrics and a few reasons, the Chicago Blackhawks. 
The 99 overall trio is going to do something pretty special in Chicago. Is they're somehow going to get them to fifth overall in the entire league. But the numbers these guys put up with absolutely no one around them is even more impressive. Julian's picking up 123 points, while Bubbles is picking up 71 goals and 50 helpers for 121 points. You guys basically did this without any help. I have nothing but respect for you guys. Like, this is actually incredible. Meanwhile, Ricky LaFleur posted a 911 save percentage and 264 goals against, with basically no defense in front of him. He posted these good of numbers with no defense. I gotta give him respect. He's the GOAT. But we already knew that. But when your team's this bad overall, not even 99 overalls can save you, and the Winnipeg Jets are going to be taking down the Chicago Blackhawks in five games in the first round. Now I'm going to keep it a thousand with you guys. I have no clue how 399 overalls were able to turn these terrible teams around. I get their 99 overalls, but these are the worst teams in the entire game, and the Sunnyvale Trio was easily able to take them to the top of the league. I guess there's a reason why a guy like Bubbles has been compared to Wayne Gretzky.